This is a recap of Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 4, Episode 2. And once again, there are some real surprises. Let's get started. All right, first, the celebrity models. The first one is Noel Felding, Fielding, sorry. And he's known right now from the Great British Bake Off, and he's been in a lot of British comedies. He has a real goth look, and they set him up with these weird circles behind him because, you know, he's a little wacky. <laughs> he always wears wacky clothes on the British Bake Off program. After four hours, three artists turn their easels around and we get to see the reveal. So here they are turning their easels around. And this is the first time that Noel gets to, a chance to see them. And he was really over, overwhelmed and thrilled. So that's really nice. Here's the first painting, which I really like this a lot. Uh, I think she has a likeness to him and I enjoy sort of that pixelation. You know, he's so dramatically pale in his skin and so dark in his clothes and his hair. There's a lot of contrast there, but I think she pulled it off and here's a close up of it. Good job, don't you think? Boy, I sure think so. And it also gives him, you get a feeling of his uh, personality here, you know, a warm person. This is a collage done with, uh, you know, tiny, tiny pieces of paper. Um, it's very hard for me to comment on something like collage because I, I don't have experience with it. I think it has a likeness to him. So let's just look at it as if it was any portrait. Certainly has a likeness to him. But, and maybe this is collage, but it certainly has a very static look to it. You know, very stiff, very flat. But that could be, that, that could be collage for all I know. Um, it certainly is um, an interesting choice and also to have varied people in the program. We've had some painter, uh, other kinds of craft, crafting, I don't wanna, this is not crafty, boy, I don't wanna put this down, because I really do like collage. Anyway, there's the whole piece. I don't really understand what are the choices for the background in this piece, but, but so be it. I mean, there it is, what are you gonna do? Uh, this is the third one, which also I think has a great likeness to him. Oh, I love the softness of this, the sensitivity of it. Uh, um, I, I really, I, I really like this piece, even even if it wasn't in, in the program. And she uh, completed the shoulders as well. I think it's a complete piece, and I think it's well thought out. And I think the, um, I think it looked really great until we pulled back. Oh, pulling back! Look at that. So interesting when you're right up next to something, how you can just totally have nailed it, and then depending on your other choices. Uh, things can fall apart, and I think they did in this case. Uh, what do you think? I'd really like to know what you think. So now Noel gets to pick one of these to take home with him. It has nothing to do with the final judging of the program, and then he chose the collage. And look how thrilled the artist is. And, I, I, you know, that, that I'm not surprised because Noel is going to pick sort of a, you know, he's not going to go with the norm. He's just not that kind of guy. Next is Daphne Self. I'm not sure what she's known for, but looking at her face, I would say she's an actress. How could she not be an actress with those very classic features? Um, they uh, love the earrings and the red dress. You know, that's going to come into play, so that's going to be kind of fun. All right, the first one up is a drawing, which up close, I think, has a lot of impact and is beautifully done, don't you think? Wow, really beautifully done. I'm never sure how you can compare drawings to paintings, but Portrait Artist of the Year can certainly be a drawing, and this is uh, beautifully done. I don't know how this takes four hours, but now once again, you see when you pull back, it sure loses a lot of impact. But may, I, I don't know if impact is the point, but remember um, the prize at the end is to do a commission for a, uh, a major gallery, and um, you know I don't think a drawing is gonna pull it off. Here is the, the next one, which is very, very, I think very clearly has a likeness to her. It completely confronts the um, subject. And by that, I mean, it's just face full on. It's so hard to do a face full on like that. Give, it, it, it eliminates some of the angles that you wanna have. Whereas this one emphasizes the angles, but I almost feel like a, a bit to an extreme. I'm, I'm not sure why this doesn't work for me. Mm. Not sure at all why this doesn't work for me. Love the colors. I, I, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Daphne's pick. Let's see which one she picks to go home. This is the one she picks to go home. 
and I think it's certainly a, a good choice. It's certainly the one I would have chosen. This is a painter who knows who knows what she's doing and is confident in, in the work. All right, the next one up is Reggie Yates. And I don't know what he's known for, but I, you know, I'm going to say he's an actor. He's either an actor or an athlete. That's what, that's what shows up in this program. Weird background. You know, they left the backgrounds alone for a while. Now they're doing weird things in the background again. They have these cameras. Oh, so there you go. He must be a photographer. Um, but they spray painted them this gray, uh, green color. So that's interesting. Um, and so here we go. Here's the first one up. That's a beautifully painted picture. And look at the resemblance. I mean, look on the left. You can see the subject, and on the right, you can see the response. Beautifully done. And also, um, you know, I, I really like these color choices. It would have been hard for me personally not to go with that almost neon green because uh, it, that would have been fun. But, but this is in keeping and, and shows that this person knows how to uh, mix paint so that it's cohesive. And, you know, there are no abrupt changes from one color to the next color which tells me he's he's a real mixologist. So good job on that. So let's see what the next one up is. Next one up, or no, I think the next one up is just a close-up. Yeah, because I really like this one, and I wanted to get a better close-up. You know, there aren't any color value swap-outs, which is something I kind of live for, but but it, it, it really works. All right, here's the next one. We hardly saw this painting at all. That's what happens in this program. Sometimes they spend a lot of time letting you see some work, and then sometimes it's like, poop, it's gone. And this one was poop and gone. Um, I don't know if it has a resemblance to him, which I still stand by as having to be an important factor here. But that is the second one that he has to choose from. And let's go ahead and look at the third. Oh, the third. The third. Uh, the third. Uh, oh, you know, You know when I really I'm not crazy about a piece of work I find it very difficult to talk about so I'm just gonna say here it is and it does not resemble him in any way and that in itself for me eliminates him from from going on it has to have a resemblance that's it's a competition that's the point of the program so let's see which one Reggie picks for himself to take home and he picks that first one which ooh, I would have picked that too and I just think it's a beautiful painting so now the next thing that happens is the judges look at all the paintings. Again, there's, the, there's, there's his pick. So the, the judges are going to look at all the paintings, and from those paintings they're going to choose three artists who will be the semifinalists for this episode, episode two. So let's look at the finalists. And you can see Noel, the background they had behind Noel there. It's weird, right? <laughs> yeah. So there are the artists, all, all, all of them, and let's look at the three semifinalists. All right, there's the first one. Now what they are doing this year is they are showing you the self-portrait. The self-portrait is what gets you into the program. You send a digital self-portrait and the judges choose whether you should participate in the program or not. So on the left is the self-portrait that got this person into the program, and on the right is the work she did today, the four hours. Again, self-portrait on the left, very consistent with what the artist did today in four hours on the right, but also interesting because you know on the self-portrait they had unlimited time to work, and on the one today they had four hours. So that's very interesting to me that she did not have any problem with the time constraints. And the third one picked is this one. Again, self-portrait on the left, work done today on the right. I really enjoy the format. Sometimes I really like when someone will change the format from being um, the typical rectangle to um, or square to a longer format and I think she used that to full effect and I love the choice of that pink. You know, put your, your hand up, put your pinky up or your thumb, take away that pink and everything um, gets way way quieter. That brings an excitement that I enjoy. So those are the three. There they are, waiting in anticipation to see who the winner will be. And the judges are going to announce. So the winner is, dun, 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 and this person goes on, will be in the, the center. There we go. There's the, fun, there's the winner. So this person will go on to be in the semifinals. The semifinals will be episode seven, I believe. And there will be seven no, I think the semifinals actually this year are 
episode eight, and there will be seven semifinalists, and from those seven they will draw three people who will go on to the finals, and we can talk about what happens in the finals later. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.